Today on this 2008 Ford Taurus X, we will be installing draw tight hitch part number 75299. Okay, the first thing we want to do is to go ahead and over here on the driver's side frame rail, lower the exhaust down off of its hanger. What we're going to do is simply unbolt the hanger off of the frame rail here by removing these two bolts here. We are going to go ahead and fully remove the hanger here off of the rubber hanger on the exhaust. So to do that, I'm just going to simply spray the stud down here with a spray lubricant like a WD-40. If it's easy enough, you can just pull it off by hand. If we take a look up here at the driver's side frame rail, you can see we've got the two existing weld nuts where we just removed the hanger from. Those are going to provide two of the attaching points for the trailer hitch. And then we've got the oblong hole here just forward of those weld nuts. That's gonna provide a third attaching point. We're actually gonna be fishing the carriage bolt and block up through the access hole here at the end of the frame rail. And we'll be feeding that into the frame, pulling it down through the hole. And then there's also a fourth attaching point here on the side of the frame through this existing hole. We're gonna go ahead and fish the carriage bolt and block into the frame over here on the driver's side by using the half inch bolt leader that is provided in our installation kit. And what we want to do is to take the threaded end here, feed it through the bottom of the hole that we're going to be pulling the bolt through, and feed it through the frame and out the access hole. We'll next take the block and feed it onto the bolt leader. And then we'll take our carriage bolt and wrap the bolt leader around the threads of the carriage bolt. And we'll just take the other end and pull them both through the frame and into place. Okay, and then we're also going to partially put in place the other carriage bolt and block assembly. You'll note that the block that we're using here on the side of the frame is smaller than the one that we used here at the bottom of the frame. We'll go ahead and put the block onto the bolt leader and thread the carriage bolt on. What we want to do is just feed it into the access hole, but we don't want to actually pull it into place just yet. So we're going to have it kind of just sitting in there with our bolt leader sticking out. Then over here on the passenger side, we've got three holes here, two at the bottom, and one here on the side of the frame. These are weld nuts, but there are not any existing threads in them as of yet. What we're gonna be using are these 12 millimeter form threading bolts. And what we'll do is just go ahead and thread them into these weld nuts and they actually form the threads for you. And again, what we want to do is basically take this curved loop off of the hanger. So I'm going to take a, a cutting wheel or a grinder and just let it chop off right about here. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put the hitch up in position now. I do want to make sure that the hitch over here on the driver's side goes up and over the exhaust. We want to make sure that we add the conical tooth washer to the 12 millimeter foreign threading bolts here. Just want to kind of leave these loose until we get all the bolts in place. Then we can tighten them up fully. What we want to do is go ahead and take our bolt leader and slide it through the hole on the hitch where it's going to attach to the side of the frame. And again, I'm going to go ahead and just attach to the carriage bolt here at the bottom of the frame. And again, we want to leave this one loose until we get everything in place. We can go ahead and go back over to the side of the frame and finalize the pulling through of the carriage bolt. We'll be, again be using a conical tooth washer and hex nut for the fasteners on the side of the frame. And then next I'm going to reattach my exhaust hanger onto the, the rubber boot on the exhaust itself. 
We'll be attaching the hanger to the weld nuts there at the bottom of the frame using the new eight millimeter bolts. We're also gonna be putting a spacer block in between the exhaust hanger and the hitch, like so. Okay, now we can go through and start torquing our bolts down. You wanna check with the directions to verify the appropriate torque rating for each individual bolt. I recommend torquing the three on the passenger side first. And we'll come back through and do the two carriage bolts on the driver's side, and then finish with the two weld nuts at the bottom of the frame. This will conclude the installation of hitch part number 75299 on a 2008 Ford Taurus X.